Hello Rangers, Rubble Games back here again, and today uh, we are talking about our sniper in Wasteland 3. So, um, pretty typical sniper build. Uh, we just kind of fall, I mean, snipers are not uh, a difficult build to go. They, they pretty much have, or to build, they're, they're pretty much have the same type of model. They're gla the typical uh, glass cannons. Um, you, you prioritize coordination and intelligence so you get the number of hits in and uh, and that crit chance and then we go up to awareness which gives us that range damage range damage bonus as well as additional hit chance and then you go into luck it's really really straightforward nothing in strength speed or charisma um, for this build we did take the sadomasochist quirk so that gives us that extra 33 percent range damage bonus but you got to be careful because you get that 33 percent extra damage when you do get hit so um so far, uh, I've been able to keep Hawk in the back pretty well and keep her from getting hit too much. But she has gotten hit a couple times when we've gotten surprised. And when she gets hit, she dies. Uh, it's, it's really bad. So she is the, really the epitome of the glass cannon. And, of course, we've taken the goat killer background for the plus 5% crit chance. Um, Skills-wise, uh, she is our sneaky sniper. So she got sneaky shit as well as sniper rifle. Uh, sniper rifle gives us that chain ambush, which I've seen work a total of one time so far where I've been able to actually kill two people um, from from cover of from being in sneak sneak mode and uh, not had it trigger uh, the combat and so yeah it's very unreliable but when it does work yeah, it's pretty cool uh, then the sneaky shit of course is the lights out um, which allows us to get I think two 200% sneak attack damage Plus the 100% sneak attack damage you get from sneaky shit. So that's 300% sneak attack damage you get. Uh, really, really awesome. And, of course, uh, I did give uh, my sniper the combat shooting per, uh, skills uh, from doing the synth quest line uh, with Gary Wolf. So uh, we've got a couple more levels of that to go to get to that 50% crit chance bonus. So really good there. So, um, and we cover the perks. I will do a quick scan through here so you can kind of see what perks I have. And then if you want to pause the video and go back and look at those and kind of see, okay, yeah, that's what we're going with from a build standpoint. Now, on to the reason why we're here, which is what armor and what weapons am I using right now on a regular basis to um, get the massive amount of kills that this sniper racks up. I mean, every hit that she does pretty much will kill uh, kill another, uh, kill the, uh, an enemy. So especially if on that sneak attack. So, I mean, she's my opener. I use this for an opener every every time. Some people do use um, uh, a, a rocket uh, as an opener, which is really good if you hit, if you can get a, a group of enemies clustered. Uh, but if they're not all clustered, uh, the rocket's only killing one person. Uh, so I found that um, there's very few times where I have a whole big cluster where that where you get the efficiencies from that rocket. When I when I do have the option, I do use it. Uh, my my heavy my heavy does have the explode maniac and um, perk and will will take those things out. But nine times out of ten, it's a sniper opening uh, that's gonna knock out one person and then immediately knock out a second one as soon as combat starts. Uh, and, and I'll kind of show you how that goes. So. Obviously, we're going with the Commandant's Helmet. You get this out of the lock rooms down below in the Ranger HQ. Uh, it is the best uh, in slot crit chance at this time. Uh, so uh, that's where we're at. And we're not putting any mods on it. Um, quite frankly, I just ran out of mods. Um, I prioritized my other characters with the uh, with the armor mods. And so I just ran out of mods. Um, but if you have some suggestions on what you would put onto this Commandant's Helmet to make it better, uh, please leave those down below. Um, I would love to have those. Uh, suggestions and maybe I will target that as we go forward still continue on in this playthrough but yeah no no armor mods right now on the commandant's helmet it does a pretty dang good job by itself I could add this uh, molybdenum alloy dome I'm just not sure I want to take on those uh, resistant drops um, she's pretty squishy as it is and if she happens to get within the splash zone of a rocket or a grenade or something like that I'd hate to have her die just um, from because she took an extra 15% damage. So, uh, yeah, I don't think the armor and the crit resistance is worth it. She never gets hit, or try not to ever get her hit. So, um, the best armor I can get on her with her low strength is the commando armor set. So, she's using the legs and the chest. So, um, in here, uh, we have the trauma plate insert, which is a blank plus six armor. So, we're using that. 
and that gives her a plus 13 armor with a plus 20 percent healing bonus uh on this commando armor the healing bonus just comes from the armor uh and then with the commando legs if you look here, we're going with the Ceramo Silk Patches, which this gives her a little bit of evasion. So if she someone does target her, maybe she has a chance of evading. A little more armor, which is really good. She needs, needs armor because she's pretty squishy. She needs all the resistance she can get. And with the, just for the cost of a, of a little bit of a 5% hit chance reduction. And with her hit chance the way it is, that's an easy one to absorb. So And you'll see that a little later when we go into the stats. Cool. So that's the armor that we put there. And of course, she also is using the, the rabbit's paw right now with the plus 3% crit chance. I don't have a better crit chance item for this slot. Uh, if I find a better one, it'll go in there. She's she's all crit all the time. And you'll see how that uh, works out in her stats in a little bit. Um, for weapons, uh, we are using the Eliminator. This is the best in slot sniper rifle that I've found, at least, and, and that I can see online. So I think this is the best one. Uh, this thing is absolutely a beast. It's a 50 cal rifle. Uh, you can see that some of the stats on it are a little bit different than the baseline, and we'll go out and get in the mods right now to uh, to show that to you. So uh, this, of course, I use this for my opener as well as my through combat. Um, uh, through through the whole combat, I use this rifle uh, for firing. If I were to do this a little bit differently, I may use this as the opener, or maybe even use the um, the uh, SR what, SR 1000 uh, Argent um, for like the opener and maybe put the phase silencer on that as well as some max out some scope and some other things and then use this as the in combat one I was kind of thinking that you could have an opener sniper rifle as then a and then kind of a, a, a through the combat sniper rifle one that doesn't need to have the pen doesn't need to have the sneak attack damage the penetration and instead you go with something with just raw damage for instance uh maybe the titanium cobalt barrel um and just kind of go go with that uh just for the up up and damage a little bit more that might be a little more efficient but it's also a lot of min maxing there and so yeah this thing does the job every time uh, i'm very happy with it um and it works as a really good all-arounder and then i can have the energy weapon backup sniper rifle just in case we get into some robots so um so yeah, so we're going with the face silencer with a plus four penetration and 30% sneak attack damage. It's just a monster. Um, holographic scope plus seven percent crit chance, the plus seven percent hit chance on the SWAT light, and then um, the reason why I can use this guy this is usually this thing I think is a plus is, is only got a three magazine clip size. So if you are going to use this the eliminator for your full combat, you got to put the oversized mag on this thing. Yeah, it's got plus one action points to reload this. But I never reload this in combat. Uh, with 11 with 11 shots in here, I mean, even if she was the only person in the fight, most of the time you're not fighting more than about 11 folks, and she can take out each one of them in about a one hit. So uh, it's this thing is an absolute beast uh, of a rifle, and uh, put in the hands of a skilled sniper like this um, is just an absolute beast of a weapon. So you can kind of see down here. Uh, 346 to 447 ends up being the damage when it's on our sniper. With 11 magazines, 11 round magazine size is it's awesome. 24 meter range, 82% hit chance, 32% crit chance, and a 2.7x crit damage. Absolute beast. Uh, we'll get into her stats and what that looks like in their final stats. Um, and then she, as just as a backup, I rarely if ever use it. The neutron projector is where we're at. Um, I think there's another slightly better energy based sniper rifle that I will upgrade to um, a little later when I get it in this playthrough but for right now this is what we got um, this one I'm using the sound suppressor mod which is a plus three pen plus 20 percent sneak attack damage again only opening with this one if I'm going up against robots but even then a lot of times I use the eliminator it does it gets the job done every time uh, five percent crit chance scope three percent hit chance scope and a plus four magazine size uh, really not putting the pri not not prioritizing this as a, as a as a weapon it's it's all right um and it gets that plus 30 percent on on the uh, as the energy weapon um against uh robots and 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 vehicles and things but not not really worried about this one i usually use the other one so what does this look like when we take a look at hawk um all right so yeah very low on health but she is a glass cannon um Action points 11. Sometimes she starts with 12, and I'm not sure what's going on with that, but um, 
But uh, most of the time she starts with 11, but sometimes she gets that 12. Um, and when she does the opening shot, she usually starts with five. But then when I do a rally with my leader, uh, she's at seven and gets that second shot. So that's what I mean when you do an opening shot with a sneak attack, usually kills. And then um, I can immediately follow up with a second shot and kill a second one. So I can take out the two big guys uh, or two bigger guys. Or maybe if I want to open up a lane to, to run folks around to get... Um, to, to get around that, I can take out folks on those sides, and then that gives a lane for my guys to open up and run down um, to get angles on the uh, the rest of the people we're going after. 138% uh, hit chance. So again, like I said, taking that 5% bump, not a big deal. Crit chance, 101%. Um, so like I said, if it hits, it crits. If it crits, it dies, right? I mean, that's her whole thing, and, and, and that's what we go with. Uh, so 2.1x uh, critical damage with an 8 penetration. 335% sneak attack damage. I think this is about the highest you can get. Um, it might, might might be able to get higher if you had a little bit better trinket on this, uh, if you had a better crit chance trinket on, on the sniper. Um, so let me know what that trinket might be. I, I, I've, I've, I need to go look at that, but um, but if you can get higher than a 335%, um, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to see it. You screenshot it, send it to me. I, I'd love to see that, and then kind of what you have for your equipment on there. That'd be good. Uh, she's got a 33% strike rate, which is great. Every three shots, she's getting a precision shot. So, um, yeah, and, and if, I, if I do a precision shot on something, it's a headshot, and it's dead. Uh, in fact, I can't even hit uh, robots and turrets and hit their CPU to make them turn against them. Uh, to, to, to turn against their friends because usually they die. Uh, I, I usually do the CPU because it's a 90% and if for some reason I get a bad roll on damage, hey, if they survive it for any, some reason, um, at least they'll shoot at their friends. But that is, since I've gotten to this level on this one, I, I can't turn robots anymore because they just die. They, they take so much damage, they die. So yeah, this is she's a monster, monster build for damage. Um, armor 29, evasion 18. Again, all this stuff is pretty modest, although we get down to the range damage bonus. 168% range damage bonus, that's great. Um, she, again, like I said, it really helps bump up the crits and everything like that. Uh, she's a perception person, again. Uh, so she's got 19 perceptions. So she's helping us find stuff. Um, initiatives, 54%, 5.3% detection time, um, or 5.3 second detection time, sorry. Uh, so, but really, rarely if ever using that, um, usually just setting up for a sneak attack um, and doing that. So if you like this video, uh, please leave a like down below. Uh, let me know what you've done in your sniper builds have you made a better one do you see better results i don't know this one's pretty good um you know it's something at least to aim for for folks but hey, if you got something better you got hey you know what? i got some better stats than the use that's fine leave them in the comments down below love to see what that looks like and of course if you like videos like this uh hit the subscribe button little bell icon and you'll get notified when i release new ones and until then everyone i hope you have a great one Goodbye. <laughs>